Hello everyone, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skill biscuit? Am I about to film this video super quick so I can get back to playing Kingdom Hearts that came out yesterday? Yes. It's a Square Enix game, so I'm not gonna be done at least until 30 hours into it. But today, we're in the back with the k -Beauty realness. I talked about in my last video that recently I've been kind of uninspired by k -Beauty, to be very straightforward with you. I feel like a lot of releases that were coming out, I was like, oh, okay the same six colors again <laughs> and that's in everything lipsticks eyeshadows of course foundation then good old vdl hit me with the real stuff came out with a foundation that had an extensive shade range i know i get a lot of people that disagree with me because y'all don't like common sense it's cool i've always been a big vocal person like if you're a korean brand trying to do an international expansion and you have base products you must expand those colors because you're not just going for just Korean people if you're coming to the United States. Just saying. VDL, I love me some VDL. They always listen to me complaining. <laughs> and they came out with new shades of their perfect lasting foundation. I have actually really wanted to try their foundation for a long time because it was very, very popular when I was first getting into K-beauty in Korea. And I was like, well, one day, hopefully one day in time somewhere, they'll have foundations for me. But it's cool because it's an exclusive only Korean brand that's cool. I get it, you don't need to match me because I am in Korea. Even though there are tan Koreans, but we ain't gonna get into that right now. <laughs> but I was like, man, if they ever come to the United States, I'm gonna be like, yo, so where's the shades at? Cause I wanna try it. I, on accident, have three of them now. Ordered the two darkest shades of the foundation only to find out they're legitimately dark. And I was like, oh, it's not me the darkest anymore. If me at all. I was like, oh, well, look at the range. I have A06, V06, and A07. So from how I understand it, the foundation is kind of organized in a warm and cool. I don't get how they allocate warm and cool if you use an A and V. Seems as though the um, A colors are more yellow and V colors, if I'm not mistaken, yes, V colors are certainly more red. So I didn't know that because that's not what it said on the website. <laughs> I'm going to do the spiel again. My foundations are always too light or always too dark and a little too red and a little too yellow and a little too green and a little too gray and a little bit too much. Oh, hey, I have tried this foundation on. I actually had it on my last video and people were like, what foundation is that? You said it's a Korean brand. What's that all about? I am in AO6 Instagram video. It, it, oh. So this is not a first impression, but this will be the first time I'm actually doing like a wear test, like trying, <laughs> much of a wear test, I'm gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts, but it's not like I'm putting it through strenu extin strenuous, is the word I was looking for, circumstances. This is an ultra lightweight liquid foundation with high coverage, breathable formula, leaves the skin blurred with a long lasting natural matte finish. It's a primer infused foundation, so it's supposed to be very, very long lasting and you don't have to use a separate primer, I assume. So here's what we're looking like. I did use a sheet mask before this, so it might be giving me a little bit of extra glow, but this is not matte. And I don't recall it being matte the first time I used it either, <laughs> which is not a problem for me. But if you were looking for matte, you'd probably look at it like, what? Okay, gonna go in for a second layer to see how buildable it is because that was giving me like medium coverage. Look at that. <clears throat> it's not matte at all though. <laughs> I don't know who you lying to, cause that ain't mad at all. But that's cute though. It's all about the glow. Hey, why am I singing so much today? My friend called me Linda from Bob's Burgers because she always singing. Eggs, 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 bum, bum. eggs, 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 eggs. Oh my God. Bum, bum. Granted, I love Linda, but no one wants to be Linda. <laughs> oh, the irony. This foundation is one of the closest matching foundations that I own. That's crazy. That's her unpowdered. Under the eyes, I'm going with Born This Way multi, multi something, the big ass concealer <laughs> in um, warm beige. Freaking Let It Go was in my head in the Kingdom Hearts, and now that they had to have the whole moment of Let It Go that had nothing to do with, <laughs> with the level, but they just needed you to hear that song because everybody loves it, I guess. 
God, I hate that song. <laughs> I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. I have a bunch of stuff from Moxie Charm I need to try out. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back in YouTube land, all right. Hi, I'm back. So this is what everything is looking like now that I have the rest of my makeup on. Wow, that highlighter is shining. Okay, what is this? Block powder from Moonshot. Just this itty unassuming thing in Bohemian. So that's all right now. It's a little before noon. I'm gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts undoubtedly until midnight and I'll catch you guys around that time, maybe 11 midnight-ish and we can see what it looks like, but it looks pretty good right now. I have powdered and put a, a setting spray, my Spore Glow Fix Mist. I'll link that down below too, because I always forget to do that, and people are like, a split away. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Here we are, it's the end of the night and I'm sleepy. It's 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna play more Kingdom Hearts, yeah. I'm 24, I was into the game. And I figured that I'd pop in and, um, show you what my foundation is looking like because I'm actually mad tired and I'm ready to take it off sis put it on at like 11 it's almost 10 so it's, uh, 11 12 ish hours of wear I will say that I do really like this foundation I feel like it got more matte as it sat on my skin I feel like it's a more comfortable matte than say Fenty foundation which I've kind of said gets a little too dry for me but as far as like wear and everything we're looking like it Seven and a half, eight out of ten, a little dry. If I were out and about, I'd spray a little more. But overall, I do think it held up pretty well. Hold on, let me put my glasses on, cause I'm blind. So, as far as, I got spray all over my glasses. <laughs> but I feel like it wore really well. It still looks pretty much as good as it was when I first put it on, albeit a little dry. And I have dry skin, so that happens more often than not. Some foundations are more severe than others. This is a matte foundation, so I'm surprised it doesn't look worse. I do need to exfoliate, so I'm gonna keep trying this foundation out, figuring out if it will look better if I exfoliate it, which I probably should have did. My bad, I've been in a gaming coma. I haven't even thought about putting makeup on my face, I'm sorry. So yeah, the foundation's nice. I'll give it like an eight, eight and a half. I feel like it has really good coverage, but not too much where it looks kind of like masky, you know? It doesn't feel heavy at all. I did notice that, it doesn't feel heavy. It gave me nice coverage. I think the color is really, really nice. It's $32, which is kind of up there, which isn't super expensive, but it's not cheap. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But yeah, I like it. I'm gonna keep testing it out, testing it out. Maybe do another full face of K-Beauty because I haven't done that in a hot minute. And that's all for today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to comment down below, give it a like. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go and see if I can beat this game today. Probably not, but I'm like 24 hours in, so we'll see.